So in this video, we'll be discussing how to deploy GPTJ on the Forefront platform. Now you may be thinking that, you know, I came to a video to figure out how to deploy GPTJ by myself. I want to deploy it on my own infrastructure. You know, I don't want to use a managed service where I typically, you know, may have to make compromises as far as um, costs or performance or how well it will work for my use case. So before actually showing you how easy it is to deploy the model, first we will show you why you may want to consider using Forefront to deploy GPTJ amongst your other options. So here we have the GPTJ Magic Quadrant for all you consultants out there. And so along the x-axis, we have affordability of the deployment method ranging from $500 to $6,000. And then we also have response speeds of a 50 token output ranging from one second to four second. So all prices you'll see of the different deployment options start with AWS until we get to the A100 in which it is Google Cloud's prices. So the first deployment option we'd have it would be to use the T4, where we'd come under $500 per month, but have about a, a little over a four second uh, 50 token output speed. From there, you could go up to a V100, where you're paying somewhere around $2,000 per month and, and getting slightly over three second response speeds. If we wanted to move on from the V100, we'd go to an A100, where we'd have it be marginally more expensive, um, much better response speed, somewhere in the lines of about, about 2.3 seconds for a 50 token output. From here, we can move on to TPUs. And so first with our V2, and so you'll be paying about $1,200 to $1,300 more than the A100 with response speeds about at about 1.6 seconds. And if we wanted the fastest response speeds um, that you could get, we would move towards a V3, where we'd have a very large increase in cost for a marginal response speed improvement. So now let's look at the forefront options. So we have two different options. Uh, let's start with the first option. The first option is the more affordable one, and it starts at about half the cost of a V100 uh, and A100, and the response speeds uh, fall somewhere along the middle around three seconds. Now our most performant option is here um, and so this option the price is exactly in line with the v100 but it's actually faster than the tpu v3 so this is by far the most popular option um, you're going to have response speeds that are work very well for real-time use cases but you're going to be saving anywhere from you know like 33 percent to uh, you know i guess up to up to 60 or 70 percent off of v3 so now that if you have more information on, on why you'd actually want to use forefront to deploy gpdj that is not just makes it very easy to deploy it, but you're actually going to be getting better response speeds and costs than other deployment methods out there. Let's look at how the actual process itself looks. So we'll go back to the platform. I'm going to press new deployment. We'll give it a name of GPTJ. Select the vanilla GPTJ model. You also can fine tune, but there's definitely a little bit more to fine tuning than what we'll cover in this video. So for this purpose, we'll just use vanilla. And here you'll see the most performant option, the most affordable option. And then we also do have a shared replica where you can pay per token. We'll select the most performant one, press create. So the project is created. We can just go in here and to deploy the model, we'll just press deploy and we can set auto scaling options. So if we have auto scaling selected, you can select the minimum replicas you'd like, the maximum replicas, and we'll um, auto scale based on concurrent usage, or you can not set auto scaling and just set to a fixed number of replicas. And we'll set it to auto scaling and press deploy. And now the replica is spinning up and the model will be, will be available soon. Um, so I will come back um, in about one or two minutes whenever the replica is up. So now that the model is live, let's go to the playground and show the model working. Uh, we can just go over here, type anything into the box, and then press submit. And we'll see that the model is working and providing completions. You can also go along the side and tune different parameters for any specific task. So the last few things to note is uh, metrics and logs. So if we go to metrics, uh, you'll be able to see details into the CPU and GPU usage, as well as memory and network usage for your replicas. You also uh, can navigate to logs, and this is where for every single API uh, request, it'll be logged with the input and output and uh, total amount of tokens. As far as using the API, you can just go to your model, copy the API URL, and navigate over to docs. From here, we can just press API, and we'll be able to see how to create a completion, as well as what the response looks like, example request, how to retrieve your API key, and all the things you need to uh, start implementing the API. So that is how to deploy GPDJ on the Forefront platform. Thanks for watching.